Tamsin, was that a disappointing way to finish the week? Yeah, I think so. And I think if you'd seen from some of the girls' faces, they're, they're pretty frustrated. It summed up the mood. Um, there's not a lot to take in it. You know, the season's a long way away and the finals are even further away. So um, it's good that we got some combinations out there. It's good we tried some stuff, but there were some real poor patches of play from us. Where was the game won and lost for you today? Oh, I think they were just more composed in areas. You know, they've, they've still got some big guns missing and so have we. And I think that was always going to be the case. Um, I think we're in it till half time and it blew out in the third quarter. And, and um, we didn't adjust quickly enough in attack and it's so easily 10 goals is then you're going to struggle to get back. It's been a great experience for all the UK teams to compete in this tournament against Pulse and Fever. What have you taken out of it? <laughs> Where we're at? <laughs> I think, you know, it's been amazing. I was speaking to Tracy Neville from Thunder earlier and we were talking. For us, it's been amazing to have that step up to show the girls as well. We've come down and watched a lot of the games and even they're sort of like, oh my God, they're doing this and they're doing that. And they just don't have access to that type of netball. So that step up for us has been brilliant. And then to be able to put things into practice against Panthers and, um, and Glasgow has been great for us as well. Would you like to see the Australian and New Zealand teams touring to the Northern Hemisphere again? I think it's really important for, for all the British teams to get that opportunity against that style of play. You know, the players that have gone out to ANZ have benefited massively coming back to the international game. But it's too few and far between. You know, we don't get that exposure regularly enough. So to actually have full hour games against some of their top, top guns has been fantastic for us. And um, I think it will only help improve our game over here. A quick look forward to next year's Super League. What are your expectations? Um, you know, the last three, three years have been really successful for us. We've made two finals and um, topped the league once. So finals are a, a must for us. Um, we were in a building stage. We've brought in a lot of youth this year. That doesn't mean that I don't want to go out and win it. But I think the league's probably going to be more open than it ever, ever has been. I think Thunder will be right up there. Bath will be right up there. Um, and those two will be the teams to beat this year. Good luck next year. Safe journey home. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.